the title of today's talk is a generalization of independence and multivariate student T distribution. This is a joint work with Monta Sakamoto. And what I want to talk today is the notion of expectations and independencies are determined from the choice of statistical models. So today, I would like to give a very elementary example of deformed independence. So this is a bivariate student T distribution. So let us recall the relation of geometry and statistics. Of course, we have many good relations between geometry and statistics. This is the topic of this conference. So recall that probability density functions have two arguments. One is random variables and the other is the parameter. So an example of geometry for sample space is known as the kernel method. So the sample space is embedded into the uh, uh, reproducing kernel Hilbert space. On the other hand, geometry for parameter space is known as Wasserstein geometry or information geometry. So in Wasserstein case, the geometry reflects directly from the sample space. On the other hand, Information geometry is independent of the structure of sample space. So, in today's talk, uh, I'll consider the information geometry, but if the sample space is a standard Euclidean space, so invariance is a good criterion. But if the sample space is a manifold or some algebraic space, so maybe invariance is not a good criterion. So I would like to give some good relation between sample space and parameter space. So at first, let us define deformed exponential family. So deformed logarithm and deformed exponential function defined by like this one. So. If the deformation function chi is the identical function, then the standard local is understood and the exponential uh, recovered. And if we choose the power function as the deformation function, then it is called Q localism and Q exponential. So we say that the Statistical, mo statistical model is a chi exponential family or a deformed exponential family. If the deformed exponential function is uh, some uh, deformed exponential function, so the definition is almost the same as standard exponential family. And this is an example of Q exponential family. So nothing but the student t distribution. So if we set the natural parameters like this red, red ones, then one can find that the set of student t distribution is a Q exponential family. And today we assume that the parameter Q is the, the interval in one to three. So in this case, we, we consider the long tail or heavy tail distributions, but Q exponential family can represent uniform distribution if Q goes to minus infinity and so on. But in, anyway, today we will consider heavy tail distributions. So of course, multivariate student T diffusion is a Q exponential family. Just so we set the natural parameters like this, then we can find that the set of multivariate student T diffusion, T distribution is a Q exponential family. This is very similar to exponential case. So another ex example, discrete distributions. So dis discrete distribution is a deformed exponential family for arbitrary deformed function. 
Nicht so. Okay, next. Let us generalize expe expectation functionals. At first, let us recall the Napier's constant. The definition is like this. So, Napier's constant is defined by the limit of this monoton increasing series. But, but uh, I think this interpretation is bet better for geometry or statistics. So, another, interpre another interpretation is that the Gener uh, generating speed of copy of intervals match with with the speed of shearing gauge intervals. So a one equal two, a two equals three over two times three over two, and so on. So the speed is mat matches. So. Let us define uh, deformed algebras for sample space. So let us consider the deform uh, the non nonlinear ordinary equation like this. Then eigen function is a Q exponential function. This one. But unfortunately, Q exponential function and the Q logarithm function do not satisfy the law of exponents. So we have to generalize the algebraic, algebraic structures like this, like this. Then we can find that the, uh, some generalization of law of exponents hold. Then, of course, we can define the inverse of the additive group, so we call Q difference. Then we can define deformed uh, differential, differential operator, so non-additive, we call this one the non-additive Q differential. So the eigenfunction of this deformed differential equation gives the Q exponential function. So we call this one the non-additive re representation, and the bottom one we call escort representation. So in this case, the base, sp base space is deformed, and in this case, the functional space is deformed. So, This is another definition or, uh, or property of Q exponential function. So under this assumption, this is a condition of well-definedness of Q exponential function. Then Q exponential function is the limit of this series. So just the uh, product operator is deformed. So ne next, let us define ex expectation functionals. So as you know, student t di distribution has heavy tails. So mean or variance may not be exist. But in information geometry, expectation is nothing but a choice of uh, is a local coordinate system. So it is better to choose a good local coordinate system. So this is uh, meaning of expectation, a geometrical meaning of expectation. So at first, let us give a formal definition of expectation. So for a probability space, a bounded linear functional is called a expectation functional. So, if so, the function is just an you know, identity function, then this is the standard expe expectation 
or in this talk we call the simple expectation. On the other hand, uh, expect, uh, escort expectation is introduced by nouns like this one. So x is a random variable and r is a probability density. Oh? So in this case, the P and R has no relation. So X follows the probability P of X, but expectation carried out another probability distribution, R of X. This is escort expectation. And in this case, now the definition, R is assumed the probability density, but R is not necessary to be a probability distribution. So let us define two deformed expectations. At first, let us define escort distribution, like this one. And P sub Q is not a probability density, so normalized version of escort distribution is called a normalized escort distribution. Then we can define two expectations, like this one. So, phi, this escort distribution is natural. The answer is the unbiasedness of score function. For a statistical model, let us define generalized score function. So if cap uh, the capital lambda is a standard logarithm function, in that case, S is a standard square function. So square function is deformed. Then we set positive measure P like this one. Then generalized square function is unbiased with respect to this probability uh, positive measure. So when the statistical model is a Chi exponential family, so it is natural to choice. Capital P is this uh, deformed positive measure. So Q exponential case, uh, this one. Okay, next let us define information geometric structure for deformed exponential family. So deformed exponential family has normalization term C of theta. Then we can define chi Fisher metric and chi cubic form by the differentials of normalization term, like this. So of course, if we consider the standard exponential family, this is a standard Fisher metric, and this is a standard cubic form. And then we can define dual connections like this. So for a deformed exponential family, we, we can obtain, dual, we can show that the, the quadrupt is a dual flat space and the parameter theta is an affine coordinate system. And the third one is a definition, but the second derivative of, or Hessian of normalization term is, gives the Fisher metric, uh, Riemannian metric. And 
エスコートノーマライズエスポエスコートエクスペクテーションギブズザデュアルコーディネートシステムアンドエスコートあノーマライズエスコートエクスペクテーションオブデフォームドロガリムズロガリムズギブズザデュアルポテンシャルオブザデフォームドフィッシャーメトリックワーカイフィッシャーメトリックアンドオフコースウィキャンデファイン Canonical divergence and this is the definition of、uh, generalized relative entropy, and of course, this is coincide with the canonical divergence. So, in the Q exponential case, So, if we consider escort expectation and normalized expectation, then this gives alpha divergence. And alpha divergence induces invariant but non flat statistical manifold. And normalized case, this gives dual flat structure. But It is not invariant in the sense of standard information geometry. So the difference is only the normalization term. And in this case, two statistical manifolds h a s some、uh, projective structure and so on, but I would like to omit. Anyway, normalization.、Uh, Normalization of positive measure to probability measure is not tri trivial. So, geometry structure changes. <coughs> so, next, let us go to generalization of independence. So, Let us recall that two random variables are independent if the joint probability is decomposed by the marginal probability densities. And if two probability densities h a s support entirely, then this、uh, represents by exponential function and logarithm function. This one. So, we generalize this relation using deformed logarithm and deformed exponential function. So, two, ram two ram random variables are chi independent with M, no M normalization if、uh, joint probability distribution is defined by or satisfied this property. But I think、uh, this normalization is not good. So, two random variables are chi independent with exponential normalization if joint probability can be written by this form. This is arises in today's morning's talk, today's morning Komori's talk in Kolmogoro Nagum average. So, this is Q exponential case. So, ju just the op product operation is defined by Q exponential and Q logarithm function. So, I would like to remark that in Q exponential case, M normalization can be written by exponential normalization, vice versa. But this is only for Q exponential case. In general, in general these, normalization, these normalizations are different. So, this is today's theorem. So, Suppose that two random variables follow the two univariate student t distribution with the same q parameter. So, recall that bivariate 
Student T distribution is not a product of univariate student T distributions. So what is the answer? So if we consider two univariate student T distributions, then bivariate student T distribution can be written by this one. So bivariate, uh, some bivariate student T distribution is obtained by univariate student T, student T distribution with Q product operation. Here is a proof, but let us omit. So this is a concluding remarks. Today, we talk about uh, deformed expectation and deformed independence. In this case, uh, geometry structure can be written like this. But if we consider standard expectation and standard uh, independence, in that case, it is known as U geometry in information geometry. OK, that's all. Thank you for your attention. Sorry, uh, I did not consider the deep uh, algebraic properties, so. Uh, C, C is a, in this case, C is a constant, but on a statistical model, C is a, some function determined by parameter. One. So, so if we consider Q product like this, so in Q case, Q, uh, Q product can be written like this. So if we obtain some measurement, so the each measurement influences other measurement. So we, we first measurement, then we obtain second measurement. But second measurement, uh, some have influence from the first measurement, like this one. So the terminology is Q independent, but random variables is, is strong, uh, random variables are strongly correlated. So this notion is common from the uh, theory of complex systems. Yes. Independent in ordinary definition of independence. Yes. How 
are they Q independent? Uh, no, I don't think so because <laughs> if we we have, if it is a it is a standard independent, this property does not hold. So. Ah, q, q equals one. Then it is. Yes. Uh, in the limit, they are uh, independent. Do you think there is also another form? Uh, if we consider limit, uh, so who is a central limit theorem, uh, in in that case, the Q value have uh, needed the change of the number of measurement because so if you consider infinite many student T distributions. It will be diverge. There is no central limit theorem for student t distribution. So, if we consider infinite many measurements, so of course central limit theorem falls. In that case, <laughs> this value uh, depends on the number of measurements. So, let us recall the uh, interval estimation in very elementary <laughs> uh, statistical theory. In that case, student t distribution would change the number of measurements. Thank you.